bad. They're doing, they're doing okay. You know, um, I thought uh, the first two games were challenged a little bit, and I thought they handled it pretty well. So Colorado's got some receivers, a little bit more of a challenge this yeah, week. Yeah, this will definitely be a bigger challenge than the first two games. Um, no disrespect, but it is what it is. They're, they're better receivers, and, and the quarterback is a, is a much better quarterback. You know, he's a guy that actually has time to throw, and uh, he's got three or four good guys to throw to. And Clark's had to step up. Yeah. Talk, he, about, talk yeah. about how your Jeremy's evaluation done, of him is. He's done a great job and, and since spring. He's, he's been very steady, and he's improved. He had a couple glitches last year. We've been working to get out, and he's trying to get them out. And he, he's, he's doing well. Definitely. Is Jeremy a natural corner? He's only played it for – Yeah, I don't – you know, he's safety. definitely the safety yeah. body for sure. I mean, I, I think a lot of teams would love to have a corner with that length and, and certainly his size and strength. Um, but like I said, he from moving from safety, he did have a couple little glitches that – he had in his game with his feet at corner. It's a totally different deal, with, especially with all the pressing we do. You're up in people's faces. And then he's, uh, he's starting to get it down. He's working hard at it, for sure. When you moved him in the first place, why, why, why did you do it? Well, I, th I think just because of the, the lack of depth at corner. And you know we had some guys at the safety position. So I would just say the lack of depth. What do you think of your corners? I disciplined through two games. Ah, not bad. I disciplined. Great question. Yeah, <laughs> um, pretty good. Um, there, there's some situations where you certainly like to to have better eyes. As you know, we play a ton of man, so you have to have very uh, very good eyes. Uh, uh, that is the name of the game. You know, we always a lot of guys like the, at the first break, their eyes go back to the quarterback, and it's really simple, but hard to do. You, know, you just keep your eyes on the guy. You're not covering the quarterback. You're covering the receiver. So we, we stress that quite a bit. Is it tough to see a kid like Jordan Lewis prepare so hard for the season and then have to sit out? Yeah, it is. I mean, he worked his tail off all summer. Pro probably worked a little too hard. I think that, that might have been a little too much torque on his body. And, and some of the issues that he has had the last couple of weeks may have been from that. Uh, but you know, he had a hell of a camp. And then all of a sudden, things just started, his back started tightening up. It affected his hamstring, affected his quad. And he's just fighting through these things right now. He's working hard to get back out there. Uh, but I got to give credit to the other guys. I mean, Strib, uh, JC, like we talked about, Jeremy, he's done a great job. Brandon Watson, great job. Coming along really good for a young kid. You know, he stepped right in and he's in a role where he's playing much more than he had a, a year ago. And, and handling it well. So it, it, it is good, in a sense, to get these other guys' experience. But at the same time, you, you, you do miss a kid like Jordan Lewis, he's, for sure. He's been able to do or get out of watching the game for a couple weeks. Jordan? Jordan yeah. yeah, well, Jordan's, you know, he's in the meetings. He's in tentative meetings. He's, he's, he was great on the sidelines the last two games, helping out just another pair of eyes to see what they're doing. And, uh, you know, he, he's been a good help, big help. Is there need to be a run up for him when he comes back? I mean, just because it's been a couple weeks, do you need to have some, like a little bit in one game and then more in another game? Or can you just uh, yeah, we'll, 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 it just all depends how he handles the week of practice. You know, we'll just see how it goes. I'm sure there will be some rust, uh, but, you know, he's he's a pretty competitive kid, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. But is it two days in? Did he? Do everything Monday and Tuesday. Or still he he's uh, he's he's working through some things. He's still working with the trainer a little bit. So, um, but you know we expect him by the end of the week to see where he's at. Do you see him get discouraged at all? I mean, is that is that how he's been? Uh, you know, as a competitor, I think he's frustrated. I don't know if he's discouraged. He, he wants to play, you know, uh, but. He knows he's got to get get his body right before he can do that, so he doesn't spend more time on the sidelines. So he he's taking the right approach, um, but frustrated, yes, certainly. And Stribling's made some big plays. Where he assess his play? Yeah, he's uh, Strib has played really well. Um, again, I, I think all these guys from the spring on, from actually the bowl game on, I think they've taken a different kind of attitude. Uh, you know, it's a senior year. You know, we, we've got to step our game up, or, you know, and possibly thinking that they can go places to continue to play. Uh, and uh, I really, really like the way that they have approached it. 
and the work ethic has been pretty good, and, and we're, they have been doing what we've been asking them to do, and, and really that's all you can ask. And, and Strip, where, where has he made the, the, the biggest gains this year? Well, I, I think in his physicalness at the line of scrimmage, uh, and uh, you know, all, all these guys, it's hard for eyes to train your eyes, and he's, he's improved in that area too. What do you like about your freshmen? Excuse what me? About you, what do you like about your two freshmen? Uh, well, they're both very gifted. You know, they really are. They're, they're really good players, but they're young. They're young. Uh, they've got a long, long way to go, and uh, but they've got they've got some really good things in them. <laughs> they, they, they're gonna be good. Talk about the next level in the off season. Are there times when like you're because because of your background, you're able to offer advice? I mean, do they, do they come to you and say, "What should I do about this?" When Jordan was going through a decision and stuff, do they throw these things at you and kind of say? Yeah, you know, we, we and and we talked about it prior to all that, so. Uh, you know, my door is always open, and, and they and they do feel free to walk in, and, or if I got to pick up the phone and call them. It's, you know, it's a two-way street. So are you able, because of your background, though, you have insight, and they it's maybe something they haven't had in the past. I, I would I would hope it's helpful for them. You know, 16 years of NFL experience, you know, 12 playing, and four coaching. So I would I would hope that. Uh, the, that that is helpful to them, and, and that they feel free to come to my door, as as, as I've expressed it several times. So, yeah, again, we've done it, and uh, hopefully, it's something that they can lean on, and it's good for them.